The Talon power cable consists of a 30 amp inline resettable fuse on the white wire positive lead. The black wire is the negative lead, and the green wire is the deployment notification alarm. Push the power cable inside the assembly track along the outside column of the Talon. Install two cord retainers, one near the top and one near the bottom. Push the T-slot portion into the assembly track. Once positioned, turn the cord retainer 90 degrees to lock it in place. Carefully route the power cable along the brackets, removing any slack so that it routes without any bulges, lumps, or kinks. Use cable ties to secure the power cable. Follow the same procedures for the starboard side. The deployment notification alarm wire is a green wire that comes from the power cable and when installed is used to sound an alarm when the ignition switch is turned to the on position to notify you the Talon anchors are still deployed. Determine the length of green wire you will need to reach the ignition switch to the battery connection. Attach the green wire to a steel fish tape. Locate the PVC wire conduit and push the fish tape and wire through until it comes out at the exit point at the stern. The deployment notification alarm will be connected to the side of the 12 volt ignition switch that lacks power when the switch is turned off. Use a voltmeter to determine where this connection exists. You may need to turn the ignition switch on and off to verify this connection with the voltmeter. With the ignition switch off, Check the power from one of the wires coming from the ignition switch. You are looking for a wire that reads zero volts. Twelve volts should be present at the connection when the ignition switch is turned to the on position and no voltage should be present when the switch is turned to the off position. 
This is the wire from the ignition I needed to connect the deployment notification wire to on my boat. Be sure that the ignition switch is turned to the off position. Cut off the sealed end of the green deployment notification alarm wire on the power cable and splice it to the wire you just tested. Use an adhesive filled heat shrink to waterproof and secure the splice. Important. When properly installed, the alarm will only sound when the ignition key is turned on when the talon is not fully retracted. The green deployment alarm wire will be connected to both anchors. Connect the port side anchor green wire to the green alarm wire, then slide on a heat shrink. Crimp a butt splice connector on the end of the wires. Slide a heat shrink onto the green wire from the starboard side. Then insert the wire into the butt connector and crimp securely. Use a heat gun to waterproof and secure the splice. Connect the black negative leads from both power cables to the starting battery negative terminal. Connect the white positive leads from both power cables to the starting battery positive terminal. For this test, your Tylon must be able to deploy and make contact with the ground without hitting any obstructions. Carefully inspect the area around the Tylon for any obstructions that may interfere with the deployment. On the indicator panel of the Tylon, there are two buttons needed for this test, the up button and the down button. Stand clear the Talon and push the down button. The Talon spike will begin to deploy. The depth indicator LEDs on the indicator panel will track the progress of the Talon as the spike deploys. When the spike comes in contact with the ground, the unit will automatically shut off. After initial shutoff, you will hear two additional deploy cycles or clicks each three seconds apart from the initial ground contact. If the Talon functions as described above, press the up button. The Talon will fully retract. Be sure to test both the port and starboard side anchors. If the Talon does not function as described, double check all wiring connections and verify proper polarity to the white and black power leads and retest. Install one of the remote dash mount holders in a convenient location. Test the same functions using your remotes.
with the Talon anchors deployed, turn the ignition key to the on position. You should hear the deployment notification alarm alerting you your anchors are still deployed. Once you hear the alarm, you should immediately retract your anchors before taking off on your boat, which could cause serious damage to your boat and anchors. Be sure to watch part 4. I will install the water deflection shield. Thanks for watching.